In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool tool that allows you to write or it will write automatically all of your blog posts. Not only will it write all of your blog posts on autopilot, but it will also take your existing blog posts from your WordPress website blog and rewrite each article. It also comes with a WordPress plugin uh, that you can install into your WordPress website and have it set on autopilot. So every six months, every month, it will rewrite and spin all of your blog. Let's jump in to the back end of this tool. Here we are inside the tool. It's called Spin Rewriter and I'll leave a discount link below. I believe it will get you around about 60% off uh, and it also comes with a five day free trial as well. So make sure you try before you buy. Um, I've actually had this tool for quite a long time now and I've been quite impressed with it. So let's start off with the rewrite a single article. Here we can actually give it an article to rewrite or if we don't want it to rewrite an article and we want it just to do, to do it for us, we can click on fetch a new article. Now before we do that, let's head over to the settings tab and we're going to just make the settings a bit more customized to what it is we're actually after. So um, because we're not rewriting anything, we don't need to worry about this bit here. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave all of this off, go to words and phrases. Um, th this, this section really is more for the rewriting side of things, but I do want to just go through it. So here we can protect words and what Spin Rewriter does is it understands semantics. So it will detect words um, and it will use equivalent words or things that are factually correct uh, and it goes down that line as well. Also, if you want to make sure that words which are capitalized, so perhaps the start of a sentence or midway after a full stop, or it could be the name of a product or a name or something, and you want to make sure that they are protected, you can select automatically protect all capitalized words and it will do just that. And then in the advanced setting, you can just set everything onto autopilot just by toggling these buttons here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do fetch a new article. Connect it to big content search. Now, if you don't know what big content search is, it's a massive directory of PLR product. And if you're not sure what PLR products are, it stands for private label rights or public label rights. And it's basically people who create white label products, blogs, templates, software, everything. And you can buy the rights to that. So you can package it, rebrand it, sell it, give it away, do whatever you want to do with those products. Um, but it's yours to do whatever you want. So this is a massive directory. I think it's, yeah, 225,000 resources that you can connect Spin Rewriter too. So it also uses that as well. So you're going to get higher quality text because these PLR products are higher of quality rather than just random text. Okay. So I want to go ahead and fetch some articles on dog training. Okay. So we're going to do fetch articles and this is currently searching a database of 126,000 articles. And now you see that it's come up with all of these different articles that we may or may not have heard of. Now, eight tips on how to train a dog. I think that's a really good one. That's also 967 words. So uh, we will go with that one. So insert, and now we have that article and it's not yet wrapped in HTML or anything on those lines. We'll, we'll get to that shortly, okay? So you can also select fixed grammar. Okay, so let's go ahead and do rewrite article. So now what this is doing is it's using semantics because it understands the words, it understands how it's all laid out, and now it's rewriting it so it comes across as completely unique. It does it in lots of different ways by rearranging the tips, um, pulling in associated words. So, so for example, associated words could be Let's say the article starts with hello, it will change hello to hi or hey or howdy or yo, you know, words that all make sense. And it does that over and over and over. So this might, this here looks a bit complicated, but do you remember how I just said, let's say the sentence starts with hello, or for example, the title here is eight tips on and now we're going to have loads of different variations of sentences because instead of saying eight tips on how it can be eight tips on exactly how or just how and then it says to train a 
and then it can be dog, canine, pet dog, pet, okay? So you see it's understood kind of what the article's about and it's using variation of those words. So that's really cool stuff, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll to the bottom and don't worry, this is not the final result. This is just everything. This is just like literally all the words and different words that we're talking about. And if you don't like one of the words, so let's say process or procedure, you can click on it and it will come up with a dictionary with the meaning of each word and you can even add your own words in or change the word just like that, okay? So if we click on settings, you can change the settings so it's only most readable or recommended. You can also protect words. So let's say I want to protect the word dog, okay? And I also, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it like that and then go into advanced settings. And again, we can change all of them, but we're just gonna leave on autopilot and then we do okay. And now what we do is we're going to do a finalize article. And now this is, actually creating the articles for us. So here, but it gives you one final step. So you can actually insert relevant videos. So if you click on the video button and let's say you want dog training, and then do fetch videos. This is going to find videos on YouTube and automatically insert it. So we want to select all the sort of training videos that we think will fit into this style blog, okay? Uh, dog training, five dog training exercises, how to stop pulling, okay? So now, because we've selected these, we can do use videos and that, and each video is going to be embedded or one of those videos will be embedded at random into each article that we produce. We can also insert images. So we can say dog training again, and then do fetch images. And once again, we'll just add each image into each article. So then we just do use images. And now we will do generate unique, unique article. And this is the final article. And you can see it's got an image in and a video. Now, if we look at that, we can export that in HTML as well. And you can see, things are wrapped in HTML tag and we've got the image there, etc. Now, if you want to see if it's plagiarized or anything on those lines, you can in fact click copy skate and it will check that for you as well. You can export it, download it as text, as a document, as a PDF. You can post it to WordPress, one click copy or even just export it. So if we do export, we can say, right, how do you want to export it? And we're going to want to export it in a text file in the correct manner. So I'm just going to say export five of these articles and do export, okay? That's now been done and we do download articles. And if we open up the zip file, we now have each of these articles. So if we open them up, it's, it's wrapped in heading tag. And if we scroll down, you can see we've got all of the blog with the image there just the way we want it. If we want to do it in a PDF, we'll have a look at that. Download article, open it up. And here is the article in a PDF format. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. See you next time.